I'm Alex. And I'm Charlie. And we're both 28-year-old Londoners, currently on a six-month adventure through East Africa. One of the biggest draws for us coming to the region was literally that, one of the biggest draws. Namely, Mount Kilimanjaro, the tallest mountain in Africa and the largest freestanding mountain in the world, squatting monumental and alone on the plains between uh, Kenya and Tanzania. We actually caught a glimpse of the mountain uh, from Amboseli National Park about a month ago and it was a sight to behold. Another main reason we came to the region was to volunteer, which we did with two very different but both very worthy organisations. Never being ones to pass up an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone, or in this case an entire mountain, <laughs> We're using this opportunity to humbly ask our friends and family if they'd be willing to sponsor our climb in support of these two great organisations. And it's a punishing climb from around 1,000 to 5,895 metres above sea level over five days of ascent. The most difficult thing is the altitude increase and with very little time to properly acclimatise, the hike can literally take your breath away. To prepare, we've been doing a lot of hiking in East Africa, uh, which is generally already between one and 2,000 metres high. So it's a good place to start. And uh, tomorrow we'll be doing a two-day hike in the foothills of the Rwenzori Mountains. Also, we've been eating a lot of chapatis to gain some extra cold protection. And I've been practicing holding my breath. Um, the highest climb we've ever done together was Mount Logano in Kenya in November. That was 3,000 meters of ascent. And last year, we climbed Scaffold Pike, England's most mighty peak, coming in at a towering 975 meters. So, this should be a walk in the park. <laughs> yeah, we're basically there already. <laughs> However, I did speak to one uh, kind of fit looking chap on uh. the Ugandan border and he said that he threw up twice on the final ascent up Kilimanjaro. We, it's a bit scary. Yeah, we also have two good friends, uh, one who was in Nepal last year and one in the Andes we both got really bad altitude sickness, so starting to get concerned about that. Uh, however, in 2012, the amazing and dedicated Carl Maynard managed to climb all the way up Kilimanjaro unassisted, and he actually has no arms and legs, so really anything can be achieved. <laughs> to give the generous among you an idea of what you'd be donating to, here's a quick intro. Local Ocean Trust Watamu Turtle Watch is a small charity on the Kenyan coast of the Indian Ocean. It is the only turtle conservancy in the whole of East Africa and a vital lifeline for these threatened and majestic creatures. They are dedicated to stopping the decline of the sea turtles. They have a turtle rehabilitation centre. They collect and release turtles caught accidentally by fishermen who they pay a small sum, the fishermen, not the turtles. They run anti-poaching patrols, hold community meetings, educate in schools, and are a visible and positive force in the community. Through these activities, they are changing the hearts and minds of the local communities, on whom the turtles' continued survival ultimately relies. A $10 donation pays for a night patrol along nesting beaches. A $40 donation pays for a dose of turtle medicine. A hundred dollars is enough fuel to run the turtle rescue vehicle for a week. The other organisation we are supporting is Lagnet Crick, a community theatre group. They work in a deprived area of Western Kenya and provide invaluable, educational and highly entertaining theatre to people in the surrounding area. This can be on subjects like land rights and legal aid, domestic violence and public health. They also provide a safe space for many young people to participate in artistic practice for free. With Charlie, they created and performed a brand new piece of theatre, drawing from both Kenyan and British theatrical tradition, educating people on drought-resistant crops, pregnancy and women's rights. They receive very little external funding and most of the members struggle with finances and family commitments. 
They will use your donations for a new PA system. It will attract attention to their performances in loud and crowded public spaces. They'll also rent it out, giving them an alternative income stream. And we well know by now that Kenyans love their loud, loud PA systems at all times. For more information on our work with both organisations, uh, click the link to our YouTube channel below, East African Adventures. We hope you can see that both these organisations are doing great work and could also really use your help to expand and improve on the work they're doing. So please donate what you can to improve many people's and many turtles' lives. Thank, Thank you! you.